All right. Well, so um, again, I'm Kim Lytle. I'm the Director of the Office of Research in the College of Education and Human Ecology. And I know that there's a lot of graduate students that had signed up for this um, uh, workshop. So I wanted to just, at least part of my slides, um, quickly link, list um, some of those graduate um, student research funding opportunities. Some of these are internal to Ohio State, um, which are very broad, and then some are specific to the College of Education and Human Ecology. So if you are a graduate student, please, uh, when you get these slide decks, and you will, uh, click on those and see um, that what you can find that's available. Um, I know that uh, graduate students are always looking for dissertation year funding. Uh, again, there's uh, OSU broad, uh, funding opportunities, there's also uh, EHE dissertation fellowships, and the Fulbright Hayes, the Jack Kent Cook, the Spencer, those are all um, national. Um, we have, uh, you know, we encourage our graduate students to, sum to uh, submit to those programs. Um, and I bet in SPIN you would find others. Um, there are a lot that are available. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that I touched on that. Uh, I didn't want to leave the graduate students out. So very quickly on federal funding, and a lot of the questions that we got about the, when you registered and you said barriers to finding funding, a lot of people said they don't even know where to start. And grants.gov, if you are, again, SPIN looks at grants.gov, but there might be, um, again, it, it can be a multiple, uh, prong, multi-pronged approach in terms of finding your funding. Um, so grants.gov, it gives you access to all the funding um, opportunities from all 26 federal agencies. Um, if you look at the website, and I just um, grabbed this information, but you can see there's open grant activities, there's a calendar, there's uh, up in the upper, I need to get a thingy, uh, but you manage subscriptions. Maybe there's a specific program that you know uh, fits your research, you're going to want to follow that um, program within an agency so that when um, maybe a, even a new uh, program comes up, you will find out about it. Um, so grants.gov, um, that is absolutely one place to uh, find funding uh, opportunities. Now, on the grants.gov page, they have services and resources. Uh, you can see for applicants, um, they have eligibility and registration. They have a grants learning center. You can search for grants. You can apply for grants. You uh, actually track your applications. Now, we haven't even talked about submissions, and of course you have a grants management office or people that you need to work with. But, um, but there's just, the whole point was that there's a lot of information on grants.gov that um, you could take advantage of. So I only list a few of those 26 agencies, and I'm listing the ones that I think are probably most appropriate for the work that we do at Ohio State. Um, everything from USAID, which of course is international support, international uh, development. Um, we've got USDA. We've got lots of US Department of, of Education um, programs or um, units within the agency that support um, research. Um, of course, HHS, uh, National Institutes of Health, um, Health Resources and Services Administration, again, a lot of um, units underneath HHS. Um, and then there's Department of Justice, uh, National Endowment for the Arts, National Endowment for the Humanities. People a lot of times say, you know, I can't find a, a, a funder that will fund my research, and it could be you know, and it could be maybe something that you'll never find research for. I mean, it's always possible, but um, there really are just so many different opportunities um, to look at the feds for support. Um, the National Science Foundation uh, is the one foundation, is, National Science Foundation is the, or, is the agency that I'm most familiar with. Um, if you, we had some folks from engineering or, or arts and sciences that actually signed up. And I don't know if people realize that, that NSF is really trying to help folks find opportunities that will meet their needs. And I grabbed a couple screenshots off of their funding page. And let's say that 
um, you want to, um, the research that you want to do has to do with undergraduate students or graduate, or, or you are a graduate student and want to try to get funding through um, uh, NSF. So there's, there's, a, there's a link there where they've done some filtering for you. Then there's the different program areas. Um, and so what NSF do, is doing is trying to help you so that you don't just have to go through big, huge long laundry lists and, you know, look at a hundred different entries. Um, and what I want to, let me go back to the website. Um, NSF has this brand new tool that you might be interested in. It's called um, Deep Insights Anytime, Anywhere please. Um, but it's called DIA2. And if you look at these people that are flying by, it's, um, it's I, I've seen it demoed now two, a couple, three times. Um, but the whole idea is that you, you um, anybody that's at Ohio State or other universities, you can actually search on a person's name and you actually see their network. So it's the social network analysis. And it also, you can identify funding sources, you can browse collaboration. So if you, if you sort of do your own personal profile, you can actually see who else does similar things and who has been funded to do similar things to what your interests are. So it's, it seems to be very powerful. And I, um, if you're interested in any NSF funding that you think might follow along with what you're doing, please look at this new tool. So Marco, how am I doing? Okay, good. So um, let me make this big again. So I'm going to reiterate a lot of what Jeff said in terms of determining the best fit. How do you find a program that works for you? And I think alignment is just key. You've got to know the mission of the agency and what is mandated, what, it, what the agency has been mandated to fund. So that, and believe me people, this takes time and effort. It does not just, it's like, oh, can I search and find it? Probably not. Um, you have to determine the agency's priorities. Look at the RFPs, the request for proposals from the last couple of years. What do they say their priorities are? Um, and see what they've funded. If you have not looked at the, pro, the, the projects that have been funded, the current projects, then, I mean, that you just have to do that so that you can see is what you are thinking similar to what, um, what the agency is wanting to fund. And you have to come up with, you have to address a need that's relevant to that agency's mission or priorities and then develop a potential solution and you have to talk with program officers. I mean, that is the bottom line. And I actually had a list of um, different mission, missions and you can really start seeing what you want to do and then what an agency's mission, mission is. And if there's some overlap, it's a good place to start. 